Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or message for you. So what I like to do is to hold each deck up to the camera to see if it's resonating with you. We'll go ahead and start with deck number one. Could your story or messages be here in deck number one? Okay. Or deck number two. Could your story or messages be here in deck number two? Or could your story or messages be here in deck number three? Could your story or messages be here? All right, we'll go ahead and get started with deck number one. We have the Emperor, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords. Central issue, we have the Five of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so central issue. You guys seem like you could have been uh, feeling down a little bit, um, having some sort of regrets, um, possibly venting about something that happened in the past, um, it also could be that someone has been coming to you venting and, you know, just kind of talking about some things, but emotionally, I feel like you've been, um, feeling a little let down and especially it's like you, maybe, maybe it's even a bit of frustration because of you not being able to figure something out, um, because it looks like here you were trying to be patient uh, about your situation. Maybe you're thinking about money. Maybe you're thinking about love. Maybe you're thinking about career. Just whatever your situation is. I feel that you had been praying for peace or meditating. Um, sometimes too, I don't know, I'm getting that you guys feel like you're being watched or like you're under surveillance by either government or other beings or spirits. Some of you feel like you're being watched and I do feel that you are. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> um, it could be one, it could be everything that I mentioned, but yeah, I feel like you guys feel that too. But it, it does look like you guys have been trying to be patient. Um, now also, something looks like maybe a missed opportunity, feeling like you could have slept on something too long. So I don't know if you were propositioned for a, an opportunity, a job, a person, whatever. And you wanted to think about it, you thought about it, you were thinking about it, turns out that the opportunity is no longer there. Um, and now you're like, also maybe beating yourself up about something, feeling like, oh, I should have took that opportunity when I had the chance. Um, now, again, if, the, if that is not your energy, it could very well be um, how someone is viewing you. Even in a work situation, maybe someone hired someone over you and now they're like, damn, we should have hired that other person. You know, so somebody is having some sort of regrets about a decision that they made, but a decision to wait, I feel. Regretting that they waited a little too long. Um, hmm. So it does look like, like I was saying about you being watched or observed. So I do feel like there is someone quietly observing you unless you, in, the, in a love situation, um, unless you are the pursuer. Um, 
I feel like you're being watched. Now, if this is job related, still same thing. I feel like you're being watched. Like you, your supervisor, they're paying very close attention to you for whatever reason. Like you're being observed. Um, maybe they're looking for someone to promote. Um, maybe they're making sure that someone is doing their job right. Um, if you are an entrepreneur and you have people working under you, maybe you are just keeping a close watch on some of your employees. But either way, I feel like someone is watching and strategizing and they're very, very quiet in, in how, what their plan is. They're not, they're very quiet. Someone's being very quiet about what their plans are. Now you also could be the observer just in life general. Um, maybe you are wanting to think and strategize what you want to say before you say it. Now, I do feel like after some observation, there someone's going to take a risk and someone is not going to care about who thinks what. It's like, okay, I don't care anymore. Like, this is, I said what I said and, you know, it is what it is. Like, I feel like someone doesn't care uh, what someone has to say. Um, somebody is thinking outside the box or someone's going to do something that might seem very out of character. Um, in a love situation, I feel like someone's getting ready to take a risk or a chance and they don't care. Um, it doesn't matter if they feel like they're going to be rejected or not. They're like... Um, let me put my feelings to the side and just, you know, say this. So I feel like someone's getting ready to do that. Um, also looks as if you might be ready for a new adventure. You might not even know what you're getting ready to get into, but you don't care at this point. Now, I do feel like a risk is going to pay off, especially a business risk uh, with Ten of Pentacles here. Something I feel like you're going to have the security that you that you wanted or that you had your eye on. Like, I feel like you had there's something that you have your eye on. And you're like, yes, yes, that's exactly what I want. I see myself doing this, that and the other. Um, this would be perfect for me. So I feel like you have your eye on something, uh, the perfect life but this is not it's more than a dream this is something that actually is a physical reality and I feel like you are going to risk something to have this um, this stability um, again if it's the other way around where someone is viewing you they're gonna take some sort of risk especially um, if somebody is already in an established relationship um, I feel like, and I'm looking at how she's holding this card. Uh, that old song is in my head. If you play your cards right, everything's gonna be all right. So I kind of feel like somebody is thinking about that. Like if you play your cards right. Um, <laughs> Aaliyah saying that too at the end of her uh, let me know. So at your best, you are loved. Hey, you're the positive, motivating. But whatever the case, I'm sorry I had to get that out. Um, at the end of the song, she's like, if you play your cards right. So I feel like somebody is talking about if you play your cards right, um, this risk or this bet is going to pay off. Um, uh, something is a bet, matter of fact. <laughs> I feel like someone made a bet or, you know, it's some sort of gamble. I think someone also could have got fussed at for taking some sort of risk. Say, for instance, you're in a relationship and you wanted a piece of property because I'm seeing real estate too. You wanted a piece of property and your spouse was like, no, I don't want to invest in that. That's a bad decision. I feel like somebody does it anyway, and they're like, why did you do that? You know, this is them fussing, or like, that was stupid of you, you know. You felt bad, felt regressed, but then something happened, and you're like, wait a minute, what just happened here? What? And then it's like, boom, you've got whatever it is that 
you took a risk on. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I just see a risk paying off and you're going to have uh, stability in finances or anything that uh, it could be a relationship. It could be anything. I also feel that someone is getting like a status update. Someone is changing their status. So someone is going from having a lack of something or nothing to abundance here. Um, yeah, something to nothing, rags to riches. Now, I see worry or anxiety near the end of the next few days, um, but I feel that it's all in your head. You're overthinking something. Um, it also looks like someone wants to have you really bad, but um, they're having anxiety about it for whatever reason. Mm. You might be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, or maybe somebody with Mars and um, Scorpio. Um, but yeah, I feel like there is some sort of overthinking going on. Someone is coming off as very guarded too. Someone is feels like they're not sure if they can trust Hmm. You are either a very guarded person or dealing with someone that is very guarded. But I definitely feel like somebody can't stop thinking about you or you can't stop thinking about somebody. I feel like if you just got promoted or hired to a new place, you might have anxiety about it, thinking that you don't know what you got yourself into or you don't know what you're doing at this job. Um, again, those are just, those are voices. Mm. Hmm. I also get the image of someone who comes off very confident, very hard to read. Someone has like manipulative energy. I'm getting like a strong business man or woman here. Um. This is someone who knows how to play cards really good. Matter of fact, I mean, just in general, somebody might be a very good uh, card player. Spades, poker, um, whatever it is. Someone's a very good gambler. They're like, my, my gambles always pay off or whatever. Hmm. I also feel that someone wants to establish an empire um something financially maybe it's real estate maybe it's some sort of business i feel too that there could be someone's intentions are not just a business partnership if you're working like with a business partner but their intentions are also to establish a relationship or they're like, man, we would run the world together. This would be, we would be an amazing team. I feel like there are two minds that are going to come together that will conquer something. So to me, these look like king and queen here. She's not the empress, but she still has that energy um, of being level-headed and uh, also, someone who's very hard to, to read, someone who's very good at um, strategy. And I think someone also wants to share some sort of ideas with you, but maybe, or someone wants you to share your ideas with them, but it's kind of like, I don't know if I could trust that person. Let me share them a little bit. I'm not going to hit um, share them my best ideas until I know I can trust them type of energy. So I feel like someone is being examined. Hmm. 
I'm also seeing someone that is coming off as in the spotlight. Someone who is a performer, like on the regular, but it, it still makes them nervous every time they get on stage. So whether it is acting, singing, dancing, I feel like someone still gets very nervous right before going on. Maybe someone's even, I was going to say a comedian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. I see that. All right, let's see here. Now, I also see someone who is branching off on their own. Someone is doing something on their own uh, or going rogue or saying, I'm not following uh, the rules anymore. I'm doing my own thing. So definitely could be dealing with um, an Aries. Uh, also could be someone who is uh, a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. Um, but this is a very, uh, what do you call it? Self-driven individual. Someone is very self-driven. That also could be just some sort of advice to you something that you've been wanting to do, you, you've you got to create your own. You've got to take control. You've got to uh, stand your ground and sit in your own throne or create your own throne. Stop looking for someone to create it for you. Um, so now is the time to be uh, your own boss or be very individual with whatever it is that you're creating. Create your own branch of something. Now, I'm also getting something about witness or witness protection. And I um, I got that in another reading, something about a witness protection. So I feel like someone is also strategizing a reunion um, or strategizing on how to establish a friendship or a relationship. This this could be someone that you're familiar with. It, it might be a friend, a friend of a friend. Um, because I feel like some people belong to the same party, the same group, or the same organization. Um, something looks like a friend of a friend. And I feel like they're like, I need you to do a favor for me. Can you do this favor for me? Send this to this person. Tell them it's from me. But dress it up a little, like enhance it. You know what I like to say. Somebody is sending someone to do or say something for another person. I'm getting someone who's coming off like very professional, um, very demure. Now, I don't know why too, I got something about like a professional hitman. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe somebody works in a government branch or someone someone just does that. Um, but something does look like, uh, I don't know where that came from, but something does look like a professional hit. And maybe too, that's why I was saying something about witness protection. Someone is uh, maybe needing to be protected or guarded. Hmm. I feel like if you are being watched from a love interest or from an employer, somebody likes what they see. They're like, I like what I see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, send for this person. Ugh. Let me look at this nine of swords here.
I feel too like a lot of people are trying to tell you something about yourself or tell you what to do and you just need to tell everybody to shut the hell up and do what's best for you. Um, hmm. Man, I'm getting strong um, vibes of, a, of someone who is very independent and very straightforward. Someone makes you nervous. I feel like someone's going to make you nervous. And I think if you're approached by someone or if you're selected for something, you're going to think it's too good to be true. And then I also feel that someone is nervous about approaching you. They're overthinking it. So if this person approaches you, I feel like they're definitely nervous, even if they are coming off um, very, you know, smooth and um, just, I, I feel like they're nervous inside. There's definitely someone that wants to reconcile or fix something that was broken. And they're planning on it. They're planning on it. They just keep getting nervous. I feel like they're going to go through with it, but they're, they're very nervous about this whole thing. I feel like someone definitely wants to lay down a foundation with you. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and look at this a little more. Someone's a perfectionist. Someone is very tedi tedious and uh, a perfectionist. So the Ten of Pentacles to me indicates that you're getting ready to go under contract with someone. It's either a soul contract or it's a business contract. Something is getting ready to be established and confirmed. I see something happening maybe in Leo season and also Libra season. I feel like laws are getting ready to be challenged as well. Someone is, is nervous about having to change laws or being the voice of someone or being a voice of others. Mm. I also feel like someone wants forgiveness. Someone wants to put the past behind them and move forward. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone around you. It could just be you with yourself, like ready to let the past go and move forward in your own pursuits. I also feel, now I feel like this is something that happened in the past. I feel like someone resisted arrest and they're getting set free. They're gonna get set free for it. That, like someone will see justice and receive a settlement or compensation. Um, if if anyone's dealing with any legalities. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to deck number two. We have the sun, the ace of wands, the Empress, Page of Coins, Queen of Blades, 
Central issue, Eight of Coins. We have Temperance. Uh oh. The Two of Wands. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, so. Hmm. I see something really interesting getting ready to happen. Two of Wands looks like you're definitely on a roll. Uh, I feel like you are going to be feeling motivated and pursuing some sort of dreams or goals. I feel like you're very excited. You also could be somebody who motivates others. I see someone lifting someone's spirits. And then speaking of spirits, I was getting bartending or something maybe it's dealing, maybe it's, um, maybe it's coffee, but I do feel like maybe someone is starting something. They're starting a new job or starting, starting a new business. I feel like someone has created something really exciting, especially if it is in, um, maybe food dealing with health uh, and I feel like somebody is like no try these try these I'm telling you and I feel like you're gonna get a good response from something that you are creating something about your creation is going to be very healing for others or is something is something that you do you might be unaware that you have some sort of talent or gift. And I feel that once you discover this, you're really going to become focused and de uh, dedicated to um, pointing some sort of uh, gift that you have. There's something, I see something being in underdeveloped, I mean, in development. Um, and then those of you that work in film or entertainment, I see something getting a green light. So if you wrote a script, I feel like it's going to get the green light. Um, if you've been waiting for something to go into production, you're like, oh, we don't know. We're waiting for the studios to get things in check. I feel like you're going to get the green light. Um... And then I don't know why I'm thinking about Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I don't know if something is about friends in the same business or like Ben and Jerry, something. I'm looking at the duality here. We have the two of wands and then it's just like two people here and two people there. Although there is a third party entering, um, something still just looks like duality and bringing people together that's funny on his shirt uh, looks like anonymous is on his shirt so somebody I don't know if somebody works with you know that type of information someone's like a whistleblower or a computer hacker or a computer hacker is going into a different type of business or someone's doing something that is going to going to help other people mm. maybe someone is a seamstress and creating t-shirts someone is like "Ooh, I'm making money somebody's gonna be stacking their money is what I'm getting and I also feel like uh, with the sun here, I mean, this is this is definitely some sort of success. So I feel like you guys are going to have um, a pretty successful week. Um, I feel like you're going to get like a lot of recognition. I see your confidence just kind of really you're glowing. Hmm. Some of you are also getting um, a clean slate with something. It's like you get to start over or you get to start fresh. Something is saying it's all up to you. What do you want to do? What do you want to create? 
you guys are going to be very creative. Um, so definitely could be some creative people that chose this deck. Um, because I'm seeing a lot of creativity when it comes to art and music um, and acting. I feel like someone's also being celebrated. People are looking at you. You are walking around making people happy. Somebody, it's like someone has the Midas touch too. So, you know, someone who has the Midas touch, it's like anything they touch turns turns to gold. So let's say you have been some sort of struggling artist, a struggling business artist, a struggling something. And someone that has a lot of influence um, who has already been where you've been, but now they're, you know, a big influence. They have a lot of money and they see your product. I feel like they would want to invest in you. And they're like, oh, you know, I got to I see something here. I'm investing in you. And by this person entering your life, all of a sudden things just kind of take off for you. Um, this even looks like someone who's maybe a talent scout. So maybe someone, you are minding your own business. You were somewhere and you get spotted by a, an agency or something. And I know there's crazy stuff going on, but life is still going on at the same time too. Um, don't be fooled by everything that's, that's going on in the media. Everything is not doom and gloom. Um, but yeah, I feel like somebody is getting um, scouted. Someone sees someone, either you are the one that is discovered or you are the person that discovers other people. Um, so definitely looks like someone is like, come here, come join us. We want to work with you. Uh, it looks like you're getting a lot of attention. Even romantically, I feel like there's going to be people flirting with you. In a romantic situation, uh, definitely business related. Either this is a co-worker that you get involved with or your co-worker uh, introduces you to someone playing matchmaker. Um, or somebody that you are having a business relationship with can definitely become flirty. Something maybe starts off as... Uh, friendly or platonic and turns into something very physical. Um, so I feel like too the Empress indicates that all your desires are manifesting. Everybody's, I feel like everybody's going to want you. Everyone's looking at you. Everyone wants your attention. Now you also could be, th this could be like your home, like you know, your man or your wife or your, your children, everybody there, they're like, oh, we, we, we couldn't wait to see you. Everyone, we love you. Like people are trying to show you that they love you or that you're um, admired or appreciated. Mm. Someone may have you on a pedestal. Some of you are definitely into maybe beauty or makeup. And if so, I feel like it's a very good time for you. Especially if you're trying to develop your own, like your own natural product, like you're making natural um, makeup or natural soaps. Mm. Somebody is combining like their knowledge of one thing and mixing it with another. So especially like, like I said, like soaps, makeup. Maybe someone is uh, transforming a different type of material. You know how there are certain people, designers, that uh, they figure it like, hey, we can make uh, recycled shoes out of these, out of plastic, and it's going to feel really soft. And so the, there's like a boom in business of like these recycled clothes. So somebody is definitely um, figuring out some sort of solution to a problem uh, business-wise, romantically. Just like I said, you're just getting tons of attention. I see something that definitely starts off as a hired uh, or so there's a monetary exchange for something. Maybe someone comes into the shop all the time. 
or your store um and they're per and don't say what shop what store it's still where i'm at it's still stuff open like dining in and all of that type of stuff so it could be that people are uh, someone comes into your your store or your restaurant all the time and they end up just saying i want to ask you out you know so something of that sort maybe even a doctor <laughs> maybe somebody's attracted to their doctor and they're like oh my god I just got to ask the doctor, are you single? <laughs> or the doctor maybe set someone up to ask ask that so that they maintain their professionalism. I don't know, but I, I feel like something starts off as like going to doctor visits, going to someone's um, restaurant or store, someone who you're supposed to be working with or it's like a client patient type of situation. So you also could be dealing with an air sign. So if you're already in a relationship, you could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, maybe Leo, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is the person coming towards you. If you're single and you're like, is somebody coming towards me? I can see that someone um, coming definitely would be coming towards you. I feel like you're gonna catch their eye it's, it's like a pleasant surprise. This person's gonna, their energy is very pleasant. I feel like this is someone who brings out your inner child or something inside of you that's creative. They're very fun to be around and definitely feels like um, a best friend that you're attracted to type energy. Mm. Somebody's chil ch uh, children or child, rather, um, might learn how to start making money for themselves, or it could be their big idea that you assist them with. Maybe they found a creative way to uh, make money during this time. I feel like someone is checking the records of their sales um, or they, you know, they're just kind of looking at things logically too. Like, man, look, we earned this much in, in this amount of time. And so someone really starts to strategize the whole financial aspect. If someone has been concerned about their health, I feel like the doctor is advising you on what you need to do to ensure like some sort of healthy I want to say healthy pregnancy because I, I do see pregnancy for some of you, um, you know, but to ensure some some sort of healthy pregnancy, if you have been waiting on any type of test results, it looks like the results are in and they're good. They're positive results. So I feel like you're definitely optimistic about something in the near future. Um, All right, so let me go ahead and look at the sun. I feel like someone lives in Boston. Maybe it's the imagery on these cards, but I feel like maybe someone is from Boston. And didn't I say Matt Damon and Ben Affleck? They from Boston too. Yeah, some sort of Boston energy. So, Ace of Wands and Ten of Wands so far. There's definitely some sort of new beginning. I feel like there's a new exciting opportunity being presented to you. Um, this definitely looks like flirtation as well. If someone has been trying to avoid you, I feel like um, they're going to come out of their shell. You may also be dealing with someone who's very, very attractive or very, very popular. They're either very popular because of their looks or what they do. Someone does want you to join them. They, they, they're they interested in your ideas or interested in what you have to say. 
I almost feel like someone is creating a special department just for you or a special space. They're like, this space is yours right here. Anything you want to do. Even if someone was like a, a, a an artist, it makes me think of um, uh, the Basquiat movie, Jean-Michel. He's, uh, I don't know if you guys know or not, he was an artist um, and really got popular in the 80s, the early 80s. And... I think it started off with him connecting with Andy Warhol and some other big names got um, a whiff of his work. And then the next thing you know, they knew he was poor, but they had given him like his own space to work with. They're like, this is your canvas or whatever, to do whatever you want to do here. And they, he had like a, a ginormous space to just work from and create. So I kind of feel like someone is giving you your own space to create. They're like, this is yours. Do whatever you want. It's your canvas. Paint it. I'm also getting that somebody may have been carefully selected. Um, Handpicked. Like you were handpicked. Like I was sent here by this person. You were handpicked. And it's like, how did they know me? How did they see me? I didn't even know that anyone was paying attention. They like, yeah, they knew you existed. Um, so I feel like you're going to be handpicked or someone is finding you, discovering you. Um, I also feel that you are, this is about yourself. This is some sort of uh, self-discovery, self-enlightenment, self-healing. So I feel like you're discovering things about yourself that you were unaware of. Hmm. I also see someone doing like a lot of research and then discovering some sort of truth and becoming famous for their research. Famous for their discovery. So I feel this was a strong career related read, but it can still apply to, you know, your love situation or your family, especially if you are, you know, wanting to get pregnant. Definitely looks like. Something could be a positive result. Let me look at the Queen of Blades. Hmm, now for some of you, this Queen of Blades, if this is a love situation, it could be that a Queen of Blades maybe came in between two people. Um, or this can indicate that you're hearing from your ex, like your ex wants to start over, your ex may be reaching out to you or calling you. Maybe because they're wanting to give you an explanation or there needs to be some sort of forgiveness. And you're going to have clarity about some sort of situation. And I also feel like something could be good news, bad news. Like the whole thing with seeing um, some sort of positive results coming back. But the bad news is that this, so I don't know what that is just yet, but I feel like it's some sort of good news, bad news. Or like, say something is found with your health. The good news is that it's treatable or curable. So that's what I'm getting if it's talking about health. And then the other thing I see is that Someone will be coming towards you because they just got out of a relationship. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. I feel like someone may be like new, very newly single. They like been single less than a week or something and you guys cross paths and it's going to be an instant um, connection. 
remembrance, like soul recognition, it's going to be like instant. All right, so let's move on to uh, deck number three. We have the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the World, Damn, Eight of Pentacles, wow, the Will of Fortune, Central Issue, Ace of Swords, the Devil, Seven of Swords. Okay. Hmm. So what I'm getting here is that um, you're getting ready to have clarity about a situation. Starting off with any type of ideas or some sort of intellectual property that maybe someone had been stealing from you. I feel like some, someone could have been stealing your ideas, stealing your work, and I feel like that person is going to get caught. That's going to come to an end. Um, I feel like karma is coming back around to that person. Like you didn't even have to do anything. Um, your spirit guides have been looking out for you all along. And then just the law of karma, period, um, is, is playing out. So... Um, I feel like you will see your justice in a situation because someone has been taking and claiming something as theirs and lying to people. Um, yeah, someone, someone has been, if someone is not the person you thought they were, unless if it's someone that you know, if it's someone that you don't know, it doesn't matter. I just feel like someone is getting caught and that's going to be cut off. It's like, okay, I'm, we're not dealing. Um, glad this is over. Glad I cut this person out of my life or glad that this person has been caught and they're unable to, you know, do what they do, whatever it is that they were doing. So someone stealing is coming to an end or whatever. Um, this person in, in line, someone stealing in line is going to come to an end. Now, in a love situation, I feel that there's been someone lurking, and I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Someone has been obsessed, uh, just maybe obsessed with spying and gathering all this information. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just seeing something being illuminated or someone seeing seen for what they really are. Now, I mean, it could be too that you're just dealing with um, a cap, excuse me, a Capricorn. Um, maybe Virgo. Maybe Aquarius. Hmm. Now, I also see that you guys are going to be very, very busy. Like, I saw you guys, that's the first thing I saw come out, is that you guys are going to be very, very busy. So, the other thing I'm seeing is that if you do start some sort of new job or you get a new client, um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of secrets, you're going to be dealing with a lot of secrets and a lot of work. So, I mean, even when you work in a bank, that's dealing with a lot of secrets. If you're dealing with something that deals with government paperwork, I feel like, um, you know, that's secretive. Applications, looking at people's social security numbers, like you're dealing with sensitive information. I feel, that's what it is. I feel like you're getting ready to handle a lot of sensitive information. Publicist, something about the, a publicist, PR. Mm, someone also might be an investigative journalist. 
So I'm starting to get a lot of career things in this reading too. I just got that for deck two. I'm going to take it back to love, but I feel like this a lot of this is talking about uh, career. You're going to be very busy. Uh, I feel like you're b being entrusted to handle a lot of information because you're coming off as someone who's wise and knows what they're doing um, or who has a lot of experience or wisdom. So I feel like um, people are entrusting you and you are going to feel possibly burdened every now and then because of the weight of what you're dealing with. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure on you, but at the same time, it's exciting, and this is something that you're you're uh, passionate about. I see you also going through some sort of transformation here. Something's very transformative taking place, and also the number 88 could be significant for you, so I don't know if you're going to be seeing that number a lot, uh, but I see eights. Um, so something is also like an ongoing, something's ongoing. It's, it's like guaranteed. So say for instance, you were like, um, concerned about your hours at work or whatever it is, it's something about working and you were like wondering if something was guaranteed and they're like, oh yes, yeah, ongoing. Plus there's more to come. Like you're going to be busy. Don't worry. You're not going to run out of work. You're not going to run out of things to do. So I feel like something is picking up. If you if you have a business, I feel like things are picking up. You're going to be super busy. Um, it's going to be almost more than you can handle. Matter of fact, some of you too. I see traveling. I see you doing a lot of traveling. Uh, you're walking into a new realm or a new life almost. You, okay, I talk about the eye of the storm a lot. Like, when you're in the eye of the storm, you don't understand why you're going through things. I see you coming out of the eye of the storm. You're finally able, something's finally over, and you have clarity, and you can understand why certain things had to happen, why you had to move on, why you had to let certain things go, why you relocated even. Um, you guys also might get ready to move like you're packing up your things it's time for you to move I see you receiving a lot of messages too I see you going through a lot of messages um, someone's sending like a lot of messages to you and I guess you guys are uh, interacting with each other I also feel that your reading is going to increase. Some of you are definitely going to be doing a lot of reading or a lot of writing even. Reading and writing. You're going to be making like an abundance of money. I see like a windfall of money. I see abundance. And it seems like something starts off fast, then it, it kind of slows down to get structured, and then more is, is on the way. Um, you're going to be whatever gifts you have I feel like you're definitely developing your skills something's being enhanced or enlightened you might start a new career that deals with um, a lot of shadow a lot of shadow information now, I was thinking about, again, something about government shadow work um, or dealing with someone's shadow side or there's a lot of shady things going on, like shadow is sticking out to me. Now, you also could be create like a creative writer and you're writing about uh, demons and vampires or you're going to be reading about uh, demons and vampires. I definitely feel like your occult knowledge will be increasing or you're expanding your mind. Um, I 
I see someone reading at night. Maybe there's like all the lights are off and there's just like someone's with a flashlight. Although you don't have to do that. You're a grown person. But I just kind of maybe someone is just setting a tone or maybe this is just maybe we're going to sleep. You know how you're getting ready to go to sleep and then you wake up and think about something. So you get on your phone and you're like looking and you're reading stuff in the dark. So I feel like someone's reading stuff in the dark and they can't stop. I feel like someone's going to start to be consumed by work, consumed by their work. Whether it's a nine to five or you, you have your own business or you have a client, um, I feel like you're going to be consumed. Um, I feel like your luck is changing. This is a, like, it looks like a once in a lifetime opportunity is coming your way. Or maybe it's already started. Things are just going to start rolling and progressing for you. Mm. I see you being independent. Financially independent. I feel like you're definitely focused on you. Focused on your health and your money. I just feel like something is saying get ready. There's a lot of changes taking place. Matter of fact, I feel like significant changes are going to uh, start happening to you. Um, by the not, by the time your next cycle starts for my female viewers, male viewers, I'm going to say within the next 15 days or at least by the end of the month. And things are going to continue to change all through summer. Like your summer is going to be super busy. Let me look at uh, the wheel here. You got all these endings. Yeah, I feel like you're getting ready to close the chapter. Close out on the chapter of your life you've been in some sort of cycle and or some sort of phase and that phase of your life is coming to an end it's time to be promoted it's time to move on or uh, ascend into something higher now Some of you may, okay, in a work situation, you might have to let go of one job in order to, you know, start the new one. And it might be something that's still painful or hard to let go of, but, you know, you understand that this is a change. It's time for a change. So you guys are changing in regards to your career if it's about a relationship, especially if you were in a codependent relationship, um, I feel that that time is up. Time for you to let that person go or move on from that energy. Mm. I also feel, like I said, if you are living somewhere, maybe you're relocating and maybe it happens really quickly and out the blue. Um, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, or there's something in regards to an air sign and an earth sign. Somebody's been doing some sort of ritual or spell work to try to attract love. Either on a, per a specific person or just in general on the on yourselves just trying to attract whoever is meant for you um if you have not been putting spell work on someone i feel like someone has been either putting spell work on you or they too could be doing it to themselves but you're the one that they attract uh yeah so for some of you i feel that there could be an ex coming towards you.
The other way I'm reading this is that someone is now single. Someone has been single and just waiting, taking their time to get back out there and start dating. But I feel like someone is now healed and ready to date. I also feel like if an ex comes back, uh, they're going to be saying that they've changed. You may try to resist this person. You may not believe that this person has changed. You know, I'm seeing somebody like literally stepping off of a plane or, or landing in a new environment. Stepping into a new environment. Hmm. Let me look at the world some more. Something's going to seem like a fantasy. I feel like you're going to have like a lot of helpers around you. Um, Career-wise, something like people are asking you for opinions. If you guys had been waiting or if there's some sort of trip that had to keep getting delayed or put off, I feel like you're finally able to go on this trip. Uh, if someone has been trying to come see you, I feel like they're finally able to come through. Someone has also been waiting on the right time to speak or let something be known or to confront their fears or anxieties before approaching you and or you have been doing this and either way whoever's been waiting for this right moment to get what they want or to, ha to have what they want um, I feel like the waiting is over there's no more wait I'm also seeing the truth coming out next time Sun and Moon are conjunct Matter of fact, I think there is a, uh, an eclipse with the North Node, Sun and Moon coming up soon. I can't remember what day that is. I think it's June 10th. And I do have two 10s out, 10-10. Ten, ten. Um, so I think June 10th could be very significant for some of you. Uh, that may be when this new beginning takes place. I see an agreement being made, agreeing to do this or agreeing to something, agreeing to the, um, a job or agreeing to some sort of settlement or agreeing to a relationship. Let me look at the devil. I see someone doing some sort of secret ritual work. Oop. Okay, that was the uh, fire sign in reverse, the uh, queen of wands. So like I was saying, if someone has been lying or stealing from you, I feel like that is getting revealed. Um, also, I'm seeing if someone has some sort of codependent situation going on with the fire sign, that codependent situation is over. That person is gone. Um, you you might view someone completely differently. You see, you don't see someone the same way anymore. Um, so that could be, like I said, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, especially maybe someone that you worked with. I see somebody also walking away from something that they were working on or letting go or giving up. Someone is just like, I give up, I quit. 
this isn't what I was looking for. This isn't what I wanted. Some of you definitely could be quitting some sort of job too and, and starting something else. I'm seeing something being turned down. Some, someone turning down an offer. Someone is just like, I, that's not what I wanna do. I'm gonna turn it down, no thank you. You as a fire sign might turn down an offer as well. Feeling like that's not what you want or you didn't want any part of that. So maybe some of you are being faced with some sort of tempting offer that you turned down in the past, but I still see you getting, I still see you busy. I also feel like somebody is dropping out of something. Someone is like, I'm dropping out. Something seems like a rat race. If you feel like you've been in a rat race, I feel like you're dropping out. I think what it is is that even if you drop out, you're going to be discovered or you're going to find your success. Like, I feel like something is choosing you. Something's coming to you. So if you are getting ready to start a new job or if you just took on a new client, um, I feel like you're going to be very, very busy. Um, someone may be very um, like they're they need you. They're always going to need you. They're like, I need you for this. So if you work as a nurse, uh, a, a nurse or a doctor, like somebody, your patient's going to always need you. Um, if this is a new business client, this person is going to be calling you a lot. They're like, I need you available like all the time. Um, so I feel like it's very needy. If it's a nine to five, it doesn't matter. It's just you're going to be very busy. Um, if it's a relationship, this person is coming off as wanting you close all the time, wanting to know everything you're doing. Um, they want to know everything. They're like, no, I need you to tell me everything. If you don't tell me, I'm gonna find out. So they're very controlling or possessive. It's a heavy burden, this relationship. If it's a job though, I think you're taking it because it pays well and it's about to open up some sort of opportunities. You're getting what you ask for. Hmm. I also feel that the truth is coming out about some things. I probably said that already in the beginning, but it does, it looks that's being uh, reiterated like the truth is coming out. Somebody's going to be in a spotlight as well. Someone's getting a lot of recognition especially for maybe something that they know how to do, knowing how to work work with some sort of elements or very talented, knows how to do something. I'm just getting someone who knows how to do something is going going to get like a lot of recognition for it. So especially if you're some sort of healer or spiritual healer or something of that sort, um, I feel like you're going to get like a lot of recognition for what you do. If you sell soaps or candles, I feel like you're going to get a lot of recognition. If you bake cakes or some sort of base, some sort of product where it's required to mix ingredients. I feel like you're going to be very successful to the point where it feels like, oh my God, what did I get myself into this? I'm so busy now. I got so many orders. I don't have time to sleep. Um, but like I said, it's like you're passionate about it. And it's weird because I see liberation from one codependent situation, but going into another one. The only difference, I guess, maybe this this is something that you want to do. 
So, I mean, think about it. If you worked a nine to five and they had you doing overtime all the time and, you know, you work in, I don't know, as um, a packer somewhere. You're like, all I do is lift boxes and packages. It pays good, but, you know, this is not my ideal job. But then something happens and your business takes off and you're like, I never have any time, but I love writing books. or I love soap, making soaps and I love doing this and that. So it's like you're losing all your, um, it's like you're, lo I wanted to say lose yourself. It is like you're losing yourself. Um, but it's, it's because it's for a cause. It's because, or it's because it's something that you're very passionate about. Even if it's in a difficult relationship, I feel like you're passionate about this relationship. And you're like, man, I know this person is a handful, but they're, it's what I want. It's who I want. It's what I want. So yeah, I feel like there's a willingness to move forward in this. And then for the most part, it just looks like you guys are definitely going to be very, very busy and maybe even moving. So yeah, those are the messages that I have for you. Hopefully it resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.